What's good players? Episode 7 of My Adventures with Superman just dropped. This was the multiverse episode, which in today's day and age can get a bit contrived, right? You know, it seems like everybody's doing that. We all want unlimited options. Maybe not that bad, but we all want it. You know, we want free reign to get different looks of the things we already love. Personally, I like listening to the same song over and over and over and over again until I hate it. But what I'll do is listen to it slowed sped up and reverb to different degrees you know that way it seems like i'm listening to a new song i'm really not because i know what i like i won't change my mind because i don't have to because i'm an american i'm dug in and i'll never change who doesn't like unlimited options i go to mcdonald's and they'll give me 17 different sauces but they won't put chicken nuggets in my double cheese i pop into my local subway and i say to the worker hey the working fella how many options do i have in this establishment and he exclaims well kind of around unlimited options motherfucker and then eventually when the sandwich sucks ass i blame him of course and walk out without paying but unlike the overworked and underpaid and underdeveloped subway worker this episode handled unlimited options amazingly balancing a lot of different characters and their stories mixel pitalik and the legion of lois lanes were great antagonists and we had a lot of development for the whole gang so we will be getting into as per freaking usual the whole plot and story all the things i picked up on and the predictions for the last three episodes we only have three of them left guys basically under an hour and a half before we do make sure to support your boy by hitting that sub button turn your notifications on leave a thumbs up follow my social media you want me to believe that I'm responsible for my Subway sandwich tasting like pure asshole. So the beginning of the episode, we see Clark taking Lois and Jimmy to his pod that he crash landed in. And more significantly, that's when he asks Lois out on a date. Which finally, the romance has actually started to kick in. You know, they've done a great job since the beginning of the season where they met. Just building that tension up over the season, giving them the little spat, and then finally bringing it back. They both obsess over making plans for the perfect date, which as we will see is a recipe for a disaster players don't ever put that much pressure on yourselves for a date okay making plans is cool but it's the chemistry that will actually carry or not this is when mr mixel pitalik comes through on clark's end he ends up changing him into all the most notable animated supermen from the past we got the badass max fleischer superman from the sick ass rotoscope cartoons from the 40s i bet you've seen it before i think the super friend soups my personal favorite the dcau super Superman. Highly recommend watching Superman the Animated Series or just, you know, the Justice League series. Super goaded, but Mixel Pitalik was pretending to be some type of multiversal peacekeeper and finesse soups into believing Lois was kidnapped while Lois was tricked into believing that Mixel Pitalik had taken Clark by the League of Lois Lanes. And one Jimmy variant. Mix, of course, was lying and was just trying to get Clark to help him get past a portal proof vault to some intergalactic museum with hella artifacts, okay? One being the helmet of Goatman. I'm sorry, Dr. Fate, okay? God damn, he was the fucking wave in Black Adam. The best thing to come out of that movie. Once Clark realized what was happening, he refused to help and was looking to, you know, end this whole excursion and get back to the date and to some form of normalcy for once. But Mix, like the true fucker that he is, basically tells him he will never have that. Really good in the delivery. You could feel the sadness in Clark knowing this insane being who knows way more than him and has seen so many different variants of him confirms the fear that he has. Then Mix transported them to some desert planet where the League of Loises tracks them down. But not before, our Lois Lane enters the restricted room and finds out she's really not living up to the other versions of herself. Even one where she was ready to meet with her father, which who is that mofo anyway? More on that later. But she finds a file on Superman that's been redacted, so that's all Lois really needs. She gets trapped on the ship by the other Lois Lane, so she won't interfere with them neutralizing her Superman. And it looks like they're straight strapped with some kryptonite laser guns because they hit soups and he falls flat on his ass. I actually kind of like how they're portraying his weakness to presumably kryptonite like with the green veins and with kryptonite growths. It looks pretty gnarly. I kind of like it. But during this altercation, it's enough of a distraction to allow Mixie to hijack their whip and use what he stole from the Earth Prime Museum to go to their headquarters to try to regain what he lost. You know, a most precious item, his bowler hat. Every true Sigma has a hat like this I that increases 
their chaos magic and decreases their cooldown. And he was only able to get this because our Lois didn't stop him when she had the chance because she needed to find out what was going on with those redacted Superman files, which again is very Lois Lane of her. He basically gets to full power once he gets the hat, and that's when the Legion of Lois Lanes with Superman and Jimmy pour into the headquarters and the battle begins. Clark and Lois share some sentiment and their first kiss. Really sweet stuff. Finally, again, we get a pretty badass and dynamic battle between Mixelpidilic and Soups. Very Dragon Ball Z kind of feel. Mix was giving a lot of like Gotenks vibes in my opinion. Ultimately, they finesse Mixelpidilic and steal back his hat and they escape from the Legion with the help of the real one, Jelena Olsen. And then I guess it just runs in the multiverse, but Jimmy dips out so Clark and Lois can go out. Another real one move. All's well that ends well until Lois opens up that orb with the redacted Superman files and sees that some Superman are evil. Plus, Mix is out of their confinement, so that's a thing. And the episode just ends with Lois finding Kryptonite. As far as things I didn't like about the episode, I really can't even think of any guys. Maybe if they'd given us more backstory from the Lois Lanes we met, it'd kind of be cool. I would have been interested in seeing like what happened to their Clarks. And honestly, at first, I really didn't think I'd like Mixelpidilic's design, but watching the episode, it honestly kind of grew on me. Again, it's very Dragon Ball Z, like Gotenks or Supreme Kai type of thing. So I fuck with that. It was a suit that finally wasn't tech based or even just the same tech we've been seeing, which was nice. The action was good. The antagonists were good. They brought different things to distress the characters, like making Lois feel insecure about her progress and then also making Clark worry that he's never going to have normalcy. I believe they used the multiverse very well and they paid homage excellently. Every character had something to offer and do. As far as predictions go, I'm honestly just going to throw this out there, but I truly believe the general is Lois Lane's father, okay? I just have a sneaking suspicion about that. I have no evidence to back that up. Sources, trust me, bro. With all that being said, I am going to be giving episode 7 of My Adventures with Superman a solid 8 out of 10. Great on all fronts. I just wish it was a bit longer, honestly, but let me know what y'all think. If you like the episode or not, your predictions as well. That's it. If you like the video, leave me a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you want, subscribe. I always appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope all of you guys are well, and I'll see you in the next one.